In this video, I would like to discuss about how to format the abstract page within the document when we are preparing the technical seminar report. When we look into the sample content or the screen, the font size is varying and there is no paragraph and there is no alignment of the content. Now I would like to share how to format the content properly and how to create paragraphs. Now, when we format the content, first we need to look for the margin. Anyhow, the margin that I have mentioned here is the default margin which is provided in the document. So you can see the default margin with the help of the page layout menu. So where uh, the default margin to be specified here is uh, 2.54 centimeters in top left, bottom and right corners. And if you want to change, we can also use uh, custom margins option. But anyhow, I'm not going to change the margins. Just I have specified how to change the margins. First set the margins when you are formatting any content or when you are typing any content in the document followed by I need to maintain the line gap in between the content and the heading for that when we look into the line gap in between the content and the heading the font size is varying in the first line after the abstract heading the font size is very high followed by the second line the font size is very low so likewise uh, when we see the third line also the font size is very low so it should not be the recommended uh, way that we need to do so to maintain the line gap in between the heading and the content i'm going to show you how to maintain the line gap now so to simply I would like to remove the line gap which by default exists in this uh, content. So I am going to remove the line gap. Now I need to select the heading or I can move the cursor at the end of the heading. Then I need to go for page layout or I can go for home menu. So either in page layout or either in uh, home menu, you can go for uh, the line spacing options. Now I'm going to line space options in home menu where I have a line spacing option in home menu. When I'm clicking on line space options, it shows the line spacing as single or 1.5 line or double etc. I'm going to select 1.5 lines. So this is the spacing for each and every line followed by when the paragraph is completed. At the end of the paragraph, I need to provide some 10 point line spacing along with 1.5 lines for each and every line at the entire paragraph after it is completed then it will provide 10 point line spacing so now i will click on ok so now the 1.5 line spacing is applied and also the 10 point space is also applied i will undo and i will apply only 1.5 line spacing without 10 point spacing now. So this is 1.5 line spacing and when I add 10 points after the paragraph that means after the paragraph the space is 10 points and you can see the difference. When I click on OK it shows there is a slight difference in between those two. That means I will undo now. So this is the line spacing when I provide only 1.5 spacing and I will redo where uh, I have added uh, the 10 point spacing after the paragraph. Either the paragraph may contain uh, one line or one board, whatever it is. At the end of the paragraph, it provides 10 points along with 1.5 line spacing. And still, we need some line gap to be maintained now. So I'm going to simply press enter. Now, when I see the preview, there is a gap in between abstract and the content, which is uh, reasonable. Now, I would like to format this content. So before that, uh, 
So based on the instructions that you receive from your authorities, you have to identify what is the font name and font size. Here, for understanding purpose, I'm taking the font name as Verdena. Verdena font for the entire content followed by the font size I'm going to maintain is 12. You have to remember when you are writing any content in the document, the font size by default should be maintained as 12. Sometimes it may be 10, but not 11. That depends on the font name that you have selected. You can take either 10 points or 12 points. And in uh, MS Office, Earlier, we have only Times New Roman as the default uh, font, which is available when you open uh, the Microsoft Office Word. But nowadays, when we observe uh, the Microsoft Office Word when you open, it shows the default font as Calibri. But we need to identify which font that we need to maintain in the document. That depends on the instructions provided by your authorities. For the sake of convenience, I'm taking this Verdina font with 12 font size. Now I need to justify this content and I want to make this as paragraphs. Normally, when the abstract content is observed, you may have only one paragraph with a lengthy number of lines. Anyhow, when we are representing the abstract in the technical seminar report if it contains 10 lines in one paragraph it is okay but if it is more than 10 lines try to split up into two paragraphs so now if you observe this content i have more than 10 lines so i need to split up into some paragraphs i will show you so before that i'm going to apply justification for this because uh, when we see the right side margin, the lines are not ending at one point. So I'm going to maintain justification. So now it is uh, somewhat okay. Now when you see the preview, it is uh, better to see. Now I will maintain the paragraphs here. For that, here the content is selected, but I want to move the cursor to the beginning of the content. So I'm simply pressing on home button. So it shows so the cursor is blinking on the first line. So now I'm simply pressing one tab space. In general, most of the people may try to give some uh, space bars to provide some space at the beginning of the paragraph. That is not a recommended procedure. Simply press only one tab space to show that it is a paragraph. And as I already told you, the abstract may contain uh, 10 lines so that we can uh, show as a single paragraph. Simply, I will remove up to here. I'm going to remove these lines. Now, when you see the preview, okay, it is the abstract is somewhat better. Now, I will undo this and I will remove by adding some more lines. So, I'm going to remove from here. And when you see the preview, okay, it is even somewhat better. But when you see up to here, that means I'm going to remove from here. Now, when you see this, it is not that much better, but it's okay. Similarly, I'm going to show you the original uh, sample content. So when we see it is not uh, that much uh, accurate or it is not that much effective. So I need to split up into paragraphs. So for that, so just you have to read the paragraph and make sure that there should be some meaningful point when you start with a, a new paragraph. Example, I'm going to start from here by assuming that the paragraph is uh, having some meaningful beginning. And similarly, if possible, I want to uh, create one more paragraph for that uh, I need to look for some 
meaningful uh, sentence so you have to identify some meaningful beginning of the paragraph and when you see the preview you can identify the abstract content like this thanks for watching this video please subscribe and share the same with your friends